On March 3, 1972, the time had come. Pioneer 10 was the first space probe to leave our blue home planet and set off for the giant Jupiter. In the following decades, six more unmanned spacecraft were to reach the realms of the gas giant. Over the course of these exploration missions, we not only gained important insights into the largest member of our planetary system and its moons, but also breathtaking images of the planet. In today's video, you'll learn what we have found out so far about our giant galactic neighbor and see images that demonstrate the cosmic beauty of the celestial body. Excited about great mysteries and amazing discoveries in the universe? Then subscribe to our channel and click the bell to join us on our galactic journey and never miss another one of our videos. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. Jupiter, a brief overview. No other planet in the solar system has such massive dimensions as Jupiter. In detail, the diameter of the celestial body amounts to a fabulous 89,000 miles. For classification, in theory, our Earth would easily fit more than 1,000 times into our gigantic neighboring planet. These impressive dimensions ultimately mean that we can clearly see Jupiter in the sky, even though there is a gap of more than 360 million miles between us and this imposing celestial body. In contrast to the terrestrial planets in the solar system, Jupiter does not have a solid composition. Thus, the celestial object named after the Roman chief god is classified as a gas planet. With increasing depth, the gases that make up Jupiter eventually enter a supercritical state. This means that the corresponding substances are in a special thermodynamic state within which the properties of liquid and gaseous states of matter are combined. Although Jupiter consists mainly of volatile chemical compounds, first and foremost, hydrogen and helium, many experts nevertheless consider it possible that the gas giant has a solid core. The colossal heart of the planet is probably composed of ice and rock and has a mass 20 times that of the Earth. This chemical composition also allows Jupiter to achieve a fabulous intrinsic rotational velocity. Although many times larger than the Earth, the gas giant needs less than 10 hours to rotate once around itself. The forces that act on the planet as a result of the rapid rotation speed ultimately lead to the fact that the celestial body presents itself much slimmer at its poles than at its equatorial plane. In simple terms, Jupiter is thus somewhat compressed and appears more wide than high. It takes 12 years for the largest planet in the solar system to orbit the central host star. On average, the two Two celestial objects are separated by a distance of 480 million miles. Consequently, the mean temperatures prevailing in the upper layers of the gas giant also drop to bone-chillingly cold depths. On average, the thermometer here rises no higher than negative 162 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the deeper we penetrate into the interior of the gas planet, the further the temperatures rise. In combination with the steadily increasing pressure conditions in the innermost regions of the planet, the condition of the substances present there also changes. Meanwhile, it's known that the galactic colossus is surrounded by at least 79 moons. The largest and by far the best known of all Jupiter's satellites are the four Galilean moons. As the names of these satellites suggest, Ganymede, Callisto, Io, and Europa were discovered and described by none other than the world-famous Italian explorer Galileo Galilei. The Galactic Giant a look at the overall view of the planet shows us what diversity characterizes the gas giant. Particularly memorable are the striking stripe patterns that adorn the planet along its equatorial plane. As we can see in the image taken by the Cassini spacecraft, these characteristic patterns come not only in different sizes and shapes, but also in different colors. In detail, these galactic colors are created by the different gases that exist in Jupiter's atmosphere. These are mainly ammonia and sulfur structures, which are sharply distinguished from each other. The detailed investigation of these structures ultimately led to the realization that the gas orbits undergo regular changes. These changes affect not only the extent of the distinctive streaks, but also their coloration. 
A closer look at these breathtaking images shows us that the countless orbits are repeatedly peppered with conspicuous, small white dots. What at first appears to us on the overall view of the planet to be extremely small structures are in fact raging storms that regularly sweep across Jupiter. The Great Red Spot the magnitude of the whirlwinds on planets the size of Jupiter becomes clear to us if we concern ourselves with the so-called Great Red Spot. This is a raging anticyclone whose diameter is about one and a half times that of our blue home planet. The gigantic structure has been raging for at least 200 years in the top atmospheric layers of the gas and possibly much longer. What causes the typical coloration of the Great Red Spot is still a galactic mystery. What is certain is that the structure rises up to five miles above the surrounding cloud cover and in the recent past has become significantly smaller and more circular than before. Experts suspect that these changes are due to interactions with other storms on Jupiter. Other Storm Formations As we can immediately see in the general view of Jupiter, the gas planet is not only graced by the Great Red Spot, but by quite a few other whirlwinds. These whipping formations often reach speeds of more than 300 miles per hour and prove to be much more durable than their terrestrial counterparts. Of course, the whirlwinds have a direct impact on their immediate surroundings. As soon as the structures slowly subside and finally come to a standstill, significant temperature differences occur between the poles and the equatorial region. The so-called white oval, a structure roughly the same diameter as our Earth, represents the merger of three originally independent storms. Images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope show that the coloration of this structure changed from white to red over time. The hurricane, which reaches wind speeds of up to 370 miles per hour, is therefore also called Red Spot Jr. Since 2008, we know that another, third red storm is also raging on Jupiter. Jupiter's North Pole The following is a computer-generated image based on an infrared image of the gas giant's North Pole. This image shows impressively that the polar regions of the celestial body are accompanied by stormy conditions. More precisely, the image shows the structure of a unique cyclone pattern. The center of this roaring structure is a large, central cyclone which in turn is surrounded by eight independent storm structures that have a diameter of between 2,490 and 2,860 miles. The South Pole of the Giant The opposite polar region is also afflicted by an extreme storm formation. Just as at the North Pole, we find a unique association of powerful cyclones in the southern reaches of the celestial body. Here too, a large cyclone forms the center of the structure, around which five other cyclones have settled. The diameter of these structures oscillates between 3,480 and 4,350 miles. Like practically all formations that adorn the large representative of our planetary system, these cyclones are also subject to constant change. Galilean Moons to conclude today's excursion into the realms of Jupiter, we would like to take a look at the four large satellites of the gas giant. What immediately catches our eye when we look at Europa, the largest of the Galilean moons, are the numerous cracks and trenches that decorate the surface of the satellite. Beside these breaks of the surface structures, which developed in the course of dynamic processes in the soil, it's however above all an urgent observation concerning Jupiter's moon that holds us spellbound. Experts are convinced that under the thick ice cover of the satellite, a subglacial saltwater ocean of unimagined scale exists. Ganymede With an equatorial diameter of 3,200 miles, Ganymede is not only Jupiter's largest natural companion, but also the largest known moon in the entire solar system. The strong magnetic field also makes this celestial body unique among the moons. The thick ice crust which adorns the surface of Ganymede is peppered with the most diverse landscape formations as a result of numerous tectonic activities. These countless impact craters have always been characteristic to the face of the moon. Io The surface of the innermost of Jupiter's four large moons, Io, 
resembles a fiery, patchwork quilt. This moon hosts dozens of volcanic formations, many of which remain active to this day. In fact, no other known celestial body in our solar system exhibits such pronounced volcanism as Jupiter's galactic companion. However, most of the volcanoes we find on the satellite are not fire mountains in the classical sense, but so-called calderas. These are cauldron-shaped depressions on the surface that regularly spew smoke and ash. Callisto With a diameter of 3,000 miles, Callisto ranks second in the list of Galilean moons sorted by size. The satellite's rugged surface testifies to the fact that Jupiter's moon has been hit by countless galactic missiles in the past. Callisto, along with Saturn's moon Phoebe, is one of the moons in the solar system with the highest density and number of meteorite craters. Just as in the case of Europa, researchers believe that a subglacial sea could lie dormant beneath the partially 200-kilometer thick ice surface of the satellite. Your opinion interests us. Which image of the gas giant and its moons fascinated you the most? We look forward to reading your thoughts on today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel that we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.